Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Through to uh, the Minister. Uh, Minister, the Jericho Lands are a park like setting in the middle of the Vancouver. Uh, Point Grey riding in the Point Grey community. Uh, a lot of mature trees, very uh, beautiful area. Half of the land is uh, federal, there's a, a military base there, half is provincial. A leaked uh, federal memo that came out in the media in February indicated that the federal government was on the verge of disposing of their half uh, of the property and, and ever since uh, there has been widespread speculation within uh, the Point Grey community about the future of uh, this property and whether or not the province has been attending these meetings with the federal government, whether they're also planning on disposing of their half of the property. Um, so I'm hopeful that today the minister can please uh, clear the air for the residents of uh, Point Grey uh, and tell them what the province's plans are for this property. Minister. Mr. Chair, uh, thank you for the question and through you to the member. The Jericho lands, uh, as the member describes, consist of two parcels. One is the lowland parcel between 4th Avenue and 8th Avenue, which is federal land, which is currently operated as a military base. And we understand that the federal government is in discussions about the disposition of that property. And the uh, upper property to the west of the federal lands is indeed provincial lands. There are pending leases there, uh, one to West Point Grey Academy and the other to the Vancouver Parks Department, which run until 2020, and the province has not uh, entered into any formal talks with First Nations, the City of Vancouver, or other stakeholders regarding the provincially owned lands of Jericho. And I think it's probably stating the obvious that um, we will observe with detailed interest what happens with the federal lands and whether there's a disposition there. Member Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, my uh, colleague from Vancouver, Cole Chenna, says that uh, there haven't been any formal talks. Uh, can he advise if there are any informal talks uh, or any talks, uh, whatever, about uh, involving the disposal of this property uh, by the provincial government um, and uh, or uh, whether the constituents of Van uh, Point Grey can rest easy until at least 2020, uh, the end of these leases? Minister. Thank you, Chair. Uh, to the member opposite, the um, extent of any uh, discussions, dialogue or otherwise about the provincial Jericho lands has simply been incidental remarks with the Musqueam First Nation who are actively discussing the federal lands with the federal government and so there have been no substantial discussions with anyone that we're aware of. Member. Mr. Chair, and I, uh, through uh, you, I thank uh, the Minister for that information. I know it'll put a lot of people's minds at rest. And uh, Mr. Chair, I would uh, take this opportunity to ask the Minister um, that uh, if, if that does change, if the Ministry does uh, start to look at disposing of this asset, that the Minister commit to a full consultation process with the Point Grey community. Point Grey community. Uh, the West Point Grey Community Association operates a community centre there. Obviously, the Point Grey Academy uh, operates out of there. A lot of uh, kids go to school their parents who live in the neighbourhood, uh, and also the community has a lot of thoughts about the kinds of development uh, that could go there environmentally friendly, uh, that would improve affordability, but that would also fit in with the character of the neighbourhood. Uh, so I hope the Minister will commit to a full consultation process before uh, disposing of the property. Minister. Thank you, Chair, and to the member opposite. Uh, this piece of property is well known to many of us, and I think the member opposite has uh, accurately summarized the, the short list of those who would have opinions on it and would be interested in any uh, issues that arise or any plans that are formulating. And so I expect there will be fulsome consultation if uh, there is any progress on any plan to uh, do anything differently with the Jericho lands other than the status quo. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, can, uh, can the Minister advise, Mr. Chair, um, uh, which companies uh, applied uh, for these vouchers uh, successfully uh, and which institutions uh, essentially redeemed the vouchers or provided students uh, to work on these projects? And I understand that um, the Minister may not want to stand up and run these all through or may not have all the names handy. Um, so uh, I certainly uh, would appreciate uh, the Minister providing that in writing uh, at a later date if he'd undertake to do that.
Minister. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, within any uh, limitations we run into in terms of commercial sensitivity or privacy issues, we will uh, do our best to provide that list to the member opposite. Member. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, can the minister advise uh, the uh, cost of this program uh, to the provincial government and uh, whether there is any cost borne by the post-secondary institutions that participate in this uh, process? Thank you, Mr. Chair. And in that lengthy hiatus, please forgive me if I don't respond to the precise question, and I'd be happy if you need to restate it. Uh, the funding arrangement is that each approved project with a graduate study student is funded to the extent of $15,000, and that there are, there's a, a BCIC component that goes into that fund and a company <coughs> component and the two components add up to $15,000 per student, of which uh, $10,000 flows through, through to the student, and $5,000 is provided for the professor for the expenses associated with managing the student's participation in the program. Member. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, is the minister able to provide an overall cost of this program uh, in the previous fiscal, including the staff to administer and review the applications and so on? Uh, how much are we paying to deliver this program? Minister. Uh, Mr. Chair, th thank you. And uh, we don't have that um, number available today, but we'd be happy to provide that in writing. 